All right, here we are once again in my workshop. I've played around with the position of the camera to get a little bit better view on it. So, our project today is currently out of frame. I'm going to be making a better handle for this knife out of this. This piece, you may remember from last time, is the piece that we didn't use. But it is perfect for the handle for this knife. So, zoom in here and tilt down a little. You can see this, uh, this knife is plastic handle. It's not very comfortable. The, the metal bit on the edge here kind of digs into your hand when you're holding it. The blade itself is pretty good. I mean, it's a, it's a Chinese 440, but it's, it is a pretty good knife. You know. But the handle, the handle leaves a lot to be desired. So, I'm going to be making a better handle for it out of rosewood, and that's going to be really nice and comfortable. So, well, let's get started. Alright, so here we see the profile of the thing. It doesn't even have the, uh, the grooves in there. You'll notice from the sound, these are actually aluminum, I think. Like, I thought they were plastic, they look like plastic, but now that I'm holding them, they feel like aluminum, which is strange. Very strange that they would do that, but whatever. Doesn't matter what, they, what they're made of, they're still horribly uncomfortable on this knife. Although, since they're aluminum, I may be able to use them on another project in the future, just not with this. Something a little smaller, something that actually matches the profile of these, you know, because... <laughs> When you don't have that edge digging into your hand, these aren't actually that bad. So, maybe a future project. We'll see. In the meantime, this thing is definitely getting... This one here is definitely getting a wooden handle. Form fit, nice and comfortable. Take the lanyard off. Alright, and there we go. So we need to flesh that out a little and then towards the end there and have that all match up nice. I'll leave the lanyard, uh, lanyard loop, not really a lanyard loop, the lanyard hole I guess for lack of a better term. I'll leave that available but shroud it up to here so you don't get that digging in. So yeah. That's what I'll do. Now the next step, of course, just like with the last one, is to map out which, you know, where on this wood you want to take the handle from. I've got to cut a little bit off this end because there's a nail channel here that got ripped out, so I gotta take some of that. And there's also a nail channel up here. I don't know how bad that'll end up being, but I don't want to take any chances. So, all together with that, looks like I'll have just enough. I may have to incorporate some of the wood from this nail channel into that. But hopefully not. Not too bad. Not too bad, all things considered. Should have just enough. So now I have a decision to make. Do I split this right down the middle? Or do I try to do it in one piece? Both have their challenges. I'm not sure which one would be the most practical for this. I'm probably going to split it down the middle. Yeah, I don't have much choice in that. So I have to split it down the middle, starting from the thinnest side. So I can always take more off on one side if I have to. But you can't add more. It's 
It's one thing you gotta remember when you're working with wood, especially like this, you know, you can't add more wood to the piece. There we go, and look at that grain, look at that, I love it, beautiful, oh yeah, that'll be nice, okay, I got a bit of a lip there I gotta trim off, there is, where is that, where is the knife, there is. Sometime soon I'm going to have to sharpen this knife as well as all the kitchen knives I have. <coughs> I'll do a tutorial on that when I get my wet sharpener all sorted and when I've got the the setup to uh, to sharpen all the other knives. There's, the reason they're getting dull is because they're kept in a drawer. I need to build a knife block or something for them, which I'll probably also do a tutorial on now that I think of it. Okay, so now that we've got that, for the most part, flat, as flat as you can get with the equipment I have, we can see where the profile is going to be. And that's actually pretty good there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look at that. Alrighty. So now what I have to do is mark the holes and let me think here right, is that uh, what, what end is that is that 10 inch no that is, I had it right the first time yeah So something about like that. <laughs> it's already better. <laughs> oh, I'm using. Okay, so I'm thinking something about like that. Don't actually have to have, I could have it all the way up there. Yeah, I think I'll start it all the way up there, and then of course I'll angle it downward to to a reasonable level. But I'd like to have some wood up here for this thing, so that'll work. That little spur there, I'd like to have some wood next to that. So yeah, I think I'll start it up there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up exactly where I want that relative to that. And to all of that. And I will use that to draw to uh, dots so I can drill through it. And then I'll match it with this one and drill through that so I can work on them in tandem. When you don't have a pencil handy, a screw will work.
Yeah, that'll work. Now I need to find the gauge of drill bit that will match these holes so that I can have the whole thing match. Oh, my first pick was the best pick for that. So cool, that'll work. Now I gotta set up the drill. I'll be back to filming when I do that, when I got that all set up. And I'm back, I've got that set up, so... Uh, you see, there's a bit of a problem there. Balancing this thing, because the platform is way too small for it. Alright, and there we go. That's the first one cut. Or, well, drilled through. Now I need to match it up with the other piece, drill through this one into this one. And there we go, two matching pieces. Holes both lined up. Good stuff. Now I can start working on shaping them. Okay, so after a long and arduous process of desperately attempting to find nuts that would allow me to keep them together so I could do the whole thing in one piece, I failed at that and went to my backup plan of tracing out the pattern I need to cut. So I cut out all of these pencil marked blackened pieces I'm going to do the same tracing on the other piece here. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a rough outline cut based on the pencil marks on these pieces. And then I'll go from there. It's a little tricky cutting these back portions down here because you can't really mount them any way that would allow it to be easily done. You're going to have to do it in sections. Not as difficult as I initially thought. Tedious, of course, but not difficult. That already fits pretty nice in the hand there, yeah. Like, the profile of this is nice. The, uh, the scales they put on were the problem. So, on to scale number two. shaping up. Looks like a handle. Now I've got to cut, I've got to trim this on an angle slightly around here. Looks good. Alright, 
So I can't hold these in place because I don't have a nut for it, but I can use them as temporary pins just to get my bearings of where everything's going to go when it's all complete. It's a shame too because these are nice screws. If I can find some matching brass nuts for them to put on the other side there, or if I can even get some just Actually, that might be the best thing. If I can get some just, uh, some, like, bar stock brass, I can make a matching set of, uh, of nuts like they did on these ones. I'm going to have to look into that. But in the meantime, you can see the, uh, the handle is shaping up nicely. Got all the pieces there. That cut I just made there angles so that it's perpendicular to the blade instead of having it all going right up that way. So it makes a lot more sense having it that shape. They're not perfectly even, but uh, I don't think anyone expected them to be perfectly even at this point. So, you know. Uh, now my task is basically just to file this down into a nice hand curvature. So I will return to filming once I've set up to do that. Okay, so now I am set up to take a rasp to these to uh, to shape them into the ideal shape for a handle. Alright, this side is quite comfortable now. Next step, I match the other side with it. There we go. Feels a little thick, but I am going to be shaving down a lot with the belt sander to get it just right there. Okay, where are the holes matched up there? I'm definitely going to have to figure out a way to get the holes to stay matched up when I do the belt sander bit because you'll notice there's a lot of uneven zones here when I've got the holes matched up and everything. So 
I'm definitely going to have to solve that problem pretty quick. Yeah, <laughs> got to solve that problem pretty quick. But I guess that's it for the video today. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get that. I know I don't have those nuts because I spent about a half hour that I didn't film because I knew it would take forever trying to find nuts for that and just couldn't. So that's it for this video. There's the product as it is currently. Next video, hopefully I will get a chance to go to a hardware store or something and get either some nuts to match this or just get some brass rod that I can make a set of, uh, a matching set of inset nuts for this side. That would be ideal if I can find the material. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, all three of you who probably will. And see you on the next one.